My name's Alan Hart, and today I wanted to do a video of my plumber's tool bag. Um, this is the Monument tool bag. Uh, it's the um, the one for gas engineers, really. Um, I've had this now for 12 months. I did do a review when I first got the bag. So I thought I'd do a long-term review and give you my opinion of it. Um, absolutely honest opinion of it. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way from Monument for this video. Um, so it's absolutely an honest review. First of all, what we'll do, we'll look inside it. I'll show you our compartments. I'll show you how I use the bag. Um, and then I'll give you my honest opinion of it. So yeah, let's have a look inside. So if we start with the front, it has a flap on the front here. And how I use it, I have some long screwdrivers in there. That's designed for a manometer or a U-gauge for a plumber. So that's a very useful, um, very useful compartment. You undo the front of it. We've got a, a section in there where you can put all your tools. We'll just zoom into that now. I use this as my service bag for servicing boilers. So there's lots and lots of spaces. I have been doing some work at home. So it's in a bit of a mess, if I'm honest, at the moment. I need to sort it out again. Got a little, little compartment here where you can put all your washers. That's actually for an ideal Vogue, so you can put it into put it into service mode. And then we've got a, another little compartment in here where you can put things if you want. If we go to the side of it, there's another little compartment there. I use that for my, for my uh, leak detector spray. And if we go to the other side, there's another little compartment. On this side I've got my cane, leak detector, um, gas leak detector in that side, which is the cane 700. I've not really used that, to be honest, that much since I got it. Um, but I've got it if I need it, I suppose. If we turn the bag round, and we have a look on, on the other side. I'm just gonna do this here. And I've got my analyzer and my multimeter in this side. And again, this has got a little compartment here where you can put, instead of having all them down there, you can actually put some of them in here. So now what we'll do, we'll have a look in the top just before we look in the top of this bag, I'll just show you the bottom. The bottom on this, it's like a plastic, like a solid hard plastic bottom. So it's really, really tough. It's also got some, some straps where you can, you can carry it from them straps if you want. And it's also got a big strap with it as well. I've come from British Gas Toolbox and if I'm honest, I don't really like change that much. Um, but this, it's got its pluses and it's got its minuses. One, it's quite heavy. And if you start putting too much stuff in it, it, it can be, you know, it can be quite heavy. But on the plus side, you can put all the stuff in you need. And if you don't go overboard, you know, by putting too much stuff in it, it's really, really good. So let's, let's have a look inside now. We'll have a look in the top of it. To open the top of the bag, it's just got some zips on here. Just one thing to point out with the zips, the bag's now 12 months old and the zips are just the same as what they were when I got it. So they're still in good condition. And if we have a look inside, it's a bit of a mess inside here. As I say, I've been, I've been doing some work at home, so I've just thrown everything in. But we'll have a look inside now. So if we have a look inside, on the, on the left hand side here, I've got my wearer. Set. Just open that up. So got all my screwdrivers and bits and bobs. I normally have a um I normally have a little adjustable spanner in there as well. And that's in like a little compartment there. 
I've also got my my Viesman little tool set which is is really good if you're working on Viesman boilers that's a nice little kit it's got all little connections in there also got just been on to Fernox um, Fernox day with Dan the amazing Dan Daniel Osman uh, or Dan Osman um, and I got a test kit so obviously now we need to or we should be checking inhibitor level um, inhibitor levels on servicing so I've just got that I'm gonna have a little play with that later I just got a bit of junk from it bottom of here I need to as I say I need to sort it out but there's lots of space in the bottom there to put some stuff in you've also got some flaps you've got a bit here where you can put stuff in as well and then on this side i've just got my card machine probably the best thing i ever got to be honest so i don't really take any cash at all anymore i actually prefer to be paid by card it's just it's just so much easier and again that's got its own it's got its own little compartment in there you can move these compartments if you want they're on like a velcro so if you want to make these bigger or smaller, you can. And that's both sides, so you can move that about. This stuff, I use this a lot. Um, Loctite 577. I've done a few videos on 577. Um, I've not been sponsored by them or all like that, but I just think it's really good stuff. Just some charges in there as well. That's fuck machine. So now I've removed all the stuff out of the bottom. You can see it's quite a nice space in there. And it's got spare. Spare compartment. So you can put that, you can just put that anywhere you want in the bottom. I'm going to have a sort out anyway now, change it about a bit, but one thing that I nearly forgot was this top bit. So you could put screwdrivers and things on there, um, but I use it for pens, which is really good and really useful. So that's as Monument um, Plumbers tool bag or Gas Engineers tool bag. Um, honest review, honest opinion from me. Personally, I love it and I wouldn't be without it. I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. As I say, I did have to take, when, when I first got it, I piled it in and stacked everything in it and it was just too heavy to carry all the stuff I wanted to have in it. But if I'm honest with you, once I took out things that I didn't need anyway, that I would just carry in for no reason, then, then it were fine. So all in all, if, if, if I didn't have it, if, if it got stolen or something like that, would I get another one? Absolutely. I think it's brilliant. Is it better than other tool bags on the market? I would suggest it probably is only because this was developed by gas engineers. But the actual truth is, I don't know if, if it is or not. So if you add some comments below, um, I'd be interesting, uh, interested to see what your opinion is. And that's it really. That's my review. Thanks for watching. Or if you'd like to subscribe, click up, click up here somewhere. Thanks very much.